Good morning all. I've missed you all, missed you a lot. This has been a difficult time for all of us, but it's also been a time of tremendous spiritual growth for many of us as we've had time to spend in God's word, time to pray, time to learn from other teaching on on the internet. It's just, I found it a time of real refreshing. Even though we've been distant from each other, we've connected in other ways, and it's been good, and we can thank God for that. Thank him for his goodness in so many ways. Today we're just going to <clears throat> spend some time in prayer together. And um, I want to just take a look at a couple of verses from the scriptures. The first one is um, 1 Thessalonians 5.17, where we're encouraged to never stop praying and to be thankful for, I'm reading it here, be thankful for, in all circumstances, for this is God's will for theirs, for those who belong to Christ Jesus. He wants us to pray for not just those who already belong to him. He wants us to pray for everyone because it's his intention that everyone be saved. In 1 Timothy 2, 1, it says, pray for all people and give thanks for them. Pray for all in authority so that we can live a peaceful and quiet life marked by godliness and dignity. This is what pleases God who wants everyone to be saved and to know the truth. Aren't they great verses? 1 Thessalonians 5.17 and 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. Great verses to, to learn, to remember and uh, know that God wants us to pray for everyone not just our own needs but for everyone and every day not all the time we don't have to be praying all the time but we can have a heart of prayer all the time a heart that's ready to pray in every circumstance and be able to give thanks to praise god for who he is for what he's done for us which is amazing really we are so blessed in this country and we have so much to be thankful for. So let's take some time to pray today. There are many things on our hearts and minds right now. We think especially of Steve's brother who passed away at just 52. What a shock to the family. So we need to uphold the Sinclair family with our prayers at this time and celebrations in the Truscott family with the new little one and all around and Sue has struggled with her her health I know there are so many needs among us some great celebrations we've had some anniversaries and birthdays and and we've all been made aware of what's been happening in people's lives through the WhatsApp app on our phones which has been another blessing. So let's just take time to pray. I'll open and then I want you to take some time to quietly pray the things that are on your heart right now. Let's pray. Dear Father God, we just thank you. Thank you that we can come to you each and every day with all the things that are on our hearts and you desire to hear from us and you desire to to. Um, respond to our prayers it brings joy to your heart when your people come together to pray this is your will for us and so we come to you today and praise you and give you thanks for who you are we thank you because you are the God who created this amazing universe that we live in this amazing planet earth and all the people within it we thank you for all the good things you've given us and done for us we thank you that in this country we are relatively safe. We have an abundance of food. We have shelter. We have everything we need for sustenance of life. Lord, but the most precious thing we have is forgiveness. So we thank you for sending your son Jesus who died in our place. We thank you for Jesus. Thank you 
So he died for our sins. And we can be made clean and holy through him in your eyes. So Lord, we just give you much praise and honour and glory because you are the God of gods. You are the only God, the only true God. You are Lord of lords, King of kings. And we love you. Now, Lord, we just pray for the Sinclair family at this time. We pray that much peace and love would come to them, surround them, that they would be strengthened, that they would know your presence in their lives, they'd know your hand upon them. And whilst we don't understand why such a young man had to die, you have a proper and perfect plan for each one of us. And we trust you in that. So just strengthen that family and give them peace and love in their hearts, we pray. We thank you for all the other blessings in our church family. We thank you for the new little life in the Truscott family. And just pray that that joy would continue for them. Bless them all, we pray. Thank you for all that have maintained good health in our church family through this difficult time. And we pray that we would all continue to grow in our faith and knowledge and our love of you and you would make us bold and strong to share your word with all those around. Give us a real sense of your purpose and your plan in all of this and renew, revive us again we pray in Jesus name as a people and as individuals we ask this in Jesus name now continue to pray your own silent prayers and give them up to God because he desires to hear from you and answer we ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen.